it is estimated that around 200 million persons have osteoporosis worldwide. And uh, uh, I think, or we, are, we, we think that uh, uh, around 30% of uh, postmenopausal women um, have osteoporos osteoporosis, both in the United States and in Europe. And uh, of these people with osteoporosis, uh, around 40% of women and between 15 and 30% in men, we will suffer an osteoporotic fracture. So, a huge problem. Postmenopausal women, women uh, uh, have increased their bone remodeling. The, when the estrogen goes down after menopause, the activity of the osteoclast improve and this acceleration of the uh, activity of the osteoclads uh, begins to uh, eat bone, okay? So, uh, when they destroy bone, they take out bone mineral and even matrix of the normal bone. That's why women have much more osteoporosis than men. But men, when do they have an androgen uh, deflection, if, even almost than women, they can develop the same kind of osteoporosis. We have two kinds of prevention. The primary pre pre prevention that in fact is a uh, the situation that prevents to develop a uh, uh, low bone mass and secondary prevention there is the is the fact of not having just the first fracture not to have a second one for primary prevention prevention do you have to uh, increase the calcium intake the vitamin d intake the sun exposition because the uh, ultraviolet uh, uh, rays of the of the sun uh, transform vitamin D in its active form, and um, good lifestyle: don't smoke, don't have uh, too much wine, don't have too much coffee, and do some exercise. For pre for, for secondary prevention, the most important. Uh, thing is to evaluate the risk you have to have an osteoporotic, an osteoporotic fracture. If you are a high risk and if you, even you have a fracture and a low mineral density, you have to be treated. And for that we have both anti resortives or anabolic drugs. And your general practitioner, your, your AP, your GP, uh, is the person that has to evaluate those circumstances that put you in treatment if you need it.